Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are in the Nidri area of Edinburgh and we're going to mostly focus on the shops and um, the main sort of strip with the shops. Not going to go too far. So yeah, let's get cracking. For Edinburgh, I can't even get over the road. <laughs> so we're uh, actually just starting at this end that's basically at Craig Miller, um, which are these flats all over here. <clears throat> That's all Craig Miller and from this junction pretty much begins Nidri. So we're going to start at this junction, walk down one side of the street and then walk back up the other, hopefully get a coffee, maybe something to eat. We're stepping into the dangerous grounds of Nidri as the media tells us just now. The area's going crazy with the fireworks and whatnot. So I thought, why don't we come down, have a walk about Nidri, show the world the real Nidri. Let's do it. <clears throat> so that's us at the crossroads now that pretty much begins the shops. if we can get any sp people to speak to us today. Nidri's a friendly place. Just trying to show you all the shops, we'll go past them on the way back. There's a few cafes and stuff. See a couple of nice looking places. So we're going to just keep doing that. <clears throat> On the left of me actually is the Travellers community, I should have said before I was coming to it. And it's like um, a whole area where travellers have, I think they've uh, acquired the site and they've been here for a long time. And they're right in there. They may not be happy with me coming and poking my camera about, so, yeah. <laughs> Plenty more cafes and shops. <clears throat> I record one of these videos sort of once a week just now. I'm getting kind of used to it as people sort of stare at me talking to myself. But hey. That white building over there is, uh, last I known it was, it was known as the White House, the White House Cafe. I've had a couple of friends that have lived in Nidri, so I know the area a little bit. Some people wouldn't step down here, maybe in the older days. like a whole dumping ground, whole dumping ground with crap in it. I think it's just wasteland. I'm not totally sure what this uh, massive building is but it's some sort of community campus and uh, um, it says community campus, Castlebury Community Campus. The 
done a lot of things over the years to try and bring Nidri up. They've developed the area tons over the last sort of 20 years. A lot of areas all over Edinburgh, it's a recurring theme on my videos that places have been getting revamped for the last 20 years. So yeah, this is a, uh, it's actually Macmillan Libraries. That must be the cancer research. So it's like a, a place to, well it's a library basically, it's obviously more than just that, but yeah. This is like uh, part of the new development, Castlebrae Community Campus, so it's obviously the school. Kids are all out on lunch. I've picked a busy time. We've kind of came off the high, high street because the pavement gets so wide, it's become like a real pedestrian area, but we're still actually on the, the main road. Nidri Mains Road, is it? Nidri Mains Drive? Nidri Mains Drive or Road, I'm not sure. I'm not pointing out too much on the other side of the road as we'll come down the other side, so I'll try to focus on this side just now. be honest, the first thing I'm going to do is go into Greg's and get a coffee. Just can't beat a Greg's coffee. I'm not one for hitting up big barista places, so let's do Greg's. So that's it guys, got my coffee. Can't have my coffee without a cigarette. So just sitting here in a nice little comfy seat. Who'd have known it was going to be such a sunny day in uh, Nidri today? I'm absolutely roasting here in my jacket, my boots. I'm going to enjoy this cigarette because funny enough, I can only carry the camera with one hand on the camera, one hand on the coffee cigarette in the mouth so we'll have a little break while we sit here and we'll also uh, pick up Greg's coffee again <clears throat> might as well say as well while I'm here I always buy like a Greg's coffee or a McDonald's coffee um, but when it comes to having some food on the channel I try to go to an independent cafe or a, something like that so yeah Always support small businesses, so we'll see what we can try for something to eat in a little bit, but we'll do a bit more adventure than first, just really to the end of where the commercial area is, sort of, and then we'll head back along. It's not going to be an extremely long video this one, but just gives you an idea of the main strip of Nidri and stuff. Right, so that's us, back on the path of a wee adventure, walk with my coffee now. show you some of the shops along here This is all fairly new when it comes to the history of Nidri. Wow. 
I maybe wouldn't clear my throat so much on the videos if I didn't smoke, eh? <laughs> Doesn't feel like there's uh, all that much to show you about here, guys. Eh? But nice big Lidl. Keep people in their food supplies. We're pretty much at the the end of this commercial area now. We'll walk out the main road and see where it takes us. Hear these cars <laughs> cars coming up on me they're electric I can't hear them <laughs> we'll go along a wee bit just to show you like the new Nidri compared to like the old Nidri right down the back there you can see like the old school And they've built a lot of these uh, new developments all, all around and it used to be all the old uh, Nidri flats, blocks of flats and stuff. The whole place has been developed. And uh, there's, I think there's still a couple of blocks standing. We'll go along a little bit, but not too far. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> Hello, my name is David. You know, and um, nice old man. I, <laughs> I don't know. Nobody what I have ever to knows say. what to say. No one knows what to say. <laughs> I just walk about filming places. It goes on YouTube, so okay. you'll find it on YouTube uh, if you put at LETV. Put at sign LETV. LETV. Yeah, okay. and you'll find the channel. Okay. Yeah. You'll be on it in about a week. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, man. He was a friendly dude. I should have said that LETV YouTube. I love that. Some folk are like, yeah, I'll speak. And I don't know what to say. <laughs> anyway, here's more of these uh, new new flat developments. really smart apartments and like it's a massive development right along there's an old church along here I might oh yeah I can see it it's not that far so I think we'll go about that far and then we'll just come back head back along the shops I really need to get better at telling people where the channel is it's at LETV YouTube. If you type that in the search bar, the channel comes straight up with the blue letters LETV as my logo. It's quite simple, but if you're watching me right now, you already know this stuff. But it's trying to get people to find the channel easily, and it's normally at LETV YouTube. I told that guy at LETV. Hopefully, he finds it. But if he searches the name and he searches Nidri, he's going to find the video. It's actually got me questioning myself whether uh, this is actually Craig Miller or Nidri, but I'm pretty sure this side of the road used to all be Nidri. And, uh, but the, the church is actually called Richmond Craig Miller Church. You 
can see whereas they've uh, developed all the areas and built the sun is so bright on my eyes they've built like uh, all these new developments all over the place uh, all around it they have still kept a couple of buildings I'm sure quite deep down down that way I'm sure there is still a couple of blocks and stuff kicking around in the old school and it's pretty cool that this church is still here with the original wall and still the original Nidri Mains Road sign that's been here since since the old Nidri So you've got like an old existing part of Nidri still here after they built all the new Nidri It's pretty cool Ah nice, there's an actual cafe here as well, but <clears throat> I'm not wanting to stop for anything to eat yet. <clears throat> but the the Richmond Church, Craig Miller Richmond Church, there's actually the Richmond Cafe here as well. So there you go. I'm completely lost if I try going down these back streets, but you can see it's all brand new builds. And if you can imagine, this was all very uh, rough, sort of um, council flat area, and they've developed it up. It's probably quite expensive to buy one of these properties now. probably see right down there how far the development goes yeah gonna get crossed over the road now and go down the other side of the road back towards the way we came get a little snack somewhere I'm struggling to actually see my my camera and everything with this light dazzling my eyes maybe start rocking the shades on sunny days don't want you all thinking I'm a poser though but uh, I do suffer from hay fever and stuff like that so the light really affects my eyes <laughs> So as I say, we're just going to make our way along here, see what else we can spot. Keep the streets clean guys, use the bins, that's what they're there for. a typical good quality uh, Nidri bus stop interesting wee tags on it and stuff I think I can actually see IRA
and a wee rep for Arsenal Football Club. A uh, London club as far as I know, but I'm not much a football fan, but yeah, pretty sure Arsenal's in London. <laughs> but uh, hey, there's Manchester United fans in India, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hey guys, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Thanks to everybody that's been watching my videos and those of you that have subscribed to the channel. And also thanks for all the comments, the likes and the shares on my videos. It really does mean a lot and it's appreciated. Unfortunately, there's a lot of you that haven't subscribed. I've got a lot of people viewing the videos that haven't actually hit the subscribe button. So please go over to the channel hit the link, might be in the corner somewhere, and go over there, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll be notified for new content and that'll help me grow the channel and give me more ability to make more videos. So please guys, subscribe to the channel. Finally, you may not be aware, but I actually run three YouTube channels. I have the LETV channel, which has all my walk around videos and podcasts. I have my UV Beats Recordings channel, which has all my music from over the years and new stuff going up. And I have my EDI Sign Maker channel, which shows my day job of what I do uh, in signage and vehicle livery and stuff like that. And if those are things that interest you, please do go over and subscribe to those channels as well. Those channels are easy to find. Just go over to YouTube and search for the channels and they should come up pretty simple. Also, I'll have a link for the channels in the description below the video. Anyway, thanks for your time, guys. Peace. I saw this uh, nice sandwich shop at the very beginning of the video um, and it sort of stood out to me. They do wraps and sandwiches and all that, local shop up at Nidri Mains up at the shops so I think that's probably going to be the one I'm aiming for give their cafe a little rep on YouTube and get a roll let you know how it was I grew up in a time, I'm 42 years old, I grew up in a time when Edinburgh still had street, street sweepers, I'm sure they still do, but more and more areas that don't get looked after anymore like it used to, I think it all relates to the crisis is going on in the governments and the council's not being given enough money. Basically got to stick to the clean spot where everybody's been walking. <laughs> oh well. That wee street back there was called uh, Nidre Mains Grove, I think. Sorry, Nid Nidre Farm Grove, which again, seen that on past videos. Back in the old days, it must have been a farm. So I always like that, it's pretty cool, but history. Nidre Farm Grove. 
So that's us back opposite Greg's again. We're about to come along to the sort of the small businesses uh, shops. Let you see what there is here. See if we can get our sandwich. Obviously been passing medical centres and Midri has all these things, got the school, community centre, medical centres, churches, got everything here. And that's us now here at all the shops, so I'll just run along and you can see what there is here. For a little bit of tagging, spray painting. A few few shops actually shut here. You find that in every community just now though. Businesses are struggling so much. Tesco and that as well. Just pa passed a wee bunch of the young team there. Eh? If I could connect eyes with them, I was going to chat to them, but I want to keep my camera. <laughs> no happy if he's videoing them. That's us here at the White House Cafe. Yeah, the White House Kitchen. keep going along here more shops but the sandwich shops further to the end Barber shops, barber shops, takeaways, quite a lot. Lots of choices for something to eat. Woof, check this boy's ride. Pretty nice, always like to spot a nice car.
loving the vinyl graphics on that. That's what I do as my job, eh? So that was really well done. Looked really nice. All right, we're coming up to the sandwich shop here. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a nice sandwich. Right guys, that was a funny one. I went in there for uh, something to eat. They were they were actually really nice. It's the Tasty Bite in Nidri. It's called Tasty Bite. They do sandwiches, wraps, paninis and soup. Uh, they didn't want me to film in the store. They didn't want me to film in the cafe. People aren't too sure. So uh, we're gonna chill here at these wee benches and try this out. So I got a spicy chicken salad panini with cheese and jalapenos um, and it cost £3.80 and it took literally two and a half minutes for them to make it. So let's try this out. There we go guys, it's uh, as I say spicy chicken, spicy chicken, salad, panini with obviously cheese and jalapenos. Looks absolutely tasty. Kind of healthy too. The owner just came out the cafe just now, walked past, you might have seen me just smile at him. So they seemed a bit funny when I was in there, but he seems happy enough. I'm giving him his uh, panini a good review. Yeah man, I don't know what's in this. But it's good, spicy chicken, cheese. There's all sorts of little salady bits, bits of pepper in it and tomato and really nice. A bit like a pizza in a way. nothing to complain about it to be fair the jalapenos are nice and hitting I got jalapenos on the last visit in uh, Portobello as well I'm a bit of a jalapeno fiend <laughs> but man this is tasty so yeah that's that's quality get yourself to tasty bite £3.80 took two minutes for them to make it nice people not sure where they were from I'd be guessing, but maybe Turkish, something like that, not sure. Yeah, let's get this polished off. Well, that was a good munch. <clears throat> Panini was amazing, was banging. <clears throat> Thought I'd make a note to let you guys know as well. I'm not the type of YouTuber that's going out annoying people. I'm not out here to upset people. I'm out here to check out areas chat to people have a nice conversation I'm not here to put people on the spot those people on YouTube and on TikTok and all that I kind of despise them for the way they do all this stuff and they give people like me a bad name because I'm doing nothing but innocent innocent actions here walking around so back there I had a couple of guys went past on their bikes seemed like local boys local nidri boys one of them says eh, I better not be on that camera or that better not be recording me so that's fine you'll not be on the camera and that'll be edited off 
um, so that that's totally cool it's a shame you could have been on the camera have a wee chat it's totally harmless but uh, yeah guys I'm gonna show you the rest of these shops again I'm gonna say it one more time that was three pound eighty took a couple of minutes to make and it was well tasty so yeah let's just uh, make our way along show you the last of the shops and we're done That was my wee seating area. As usual I forgot to actually rate the panini and I want to do that so you get an idea how good it was so yeah it took like minutes to make I was in there for four minutes or something two minutes less than five minutes so it was really nice and quick that's what you want and um, it tasted really good it was really tasty not really my typical sort of thing to go for and um, but you know what, like I ate every bit of it, there was nothing left, so it was really good. So, yeah, taste-wise, tasted amazing, really tasty. I'm burping jalapenos right now. Um, the price, £3.80 for a, jala for a, a, a toasted panini. Um, I possibly think that's quite expensive for a toasted panini, um, but it was good. I would have hoped it was going to be about £3, so £3.80 is just a little bit more than I would have wanted, so I think I would probably go and give this like an 8 out of 10 for the panini, otherwise, yeah, wasn't my favourite flavour, but it was really good, um, and yeah, uh, cost-wise it was slightly more than I would have hoped, so cool. So, the panini gets an 8 out of 10 because basically there was nothing wrong with it. Slightly more expensive than I would have wanted, but hey, I'm being picky. But because it wasn't my favourite food, I'm not going to get, say, like 10 out of 10. So I'd say 8 out of 10. So, yeah, guys, get yourself down for one. So, that's us, guys. We're now back here at the crossroads where I begun I've went right up and down the sort of main main part of the shops at Nidri got a little snack showed you a few things I always feel like it probably hasn't been too interesting for you but actually in the end it probably is quite interesting for you so I think we're just going to call it quits guys I'm just parked behind me that way we're going to get back to the car that's it for today for Nidri We'll come back to Nidri, do another one another day. But anyway, I'm getting a bit blinded again by the sun. <laughs> but if uh, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.